What's up guys and welcome back to LFJ TV. Now in today's video we're actually going to Litchfield. Uh, we don't really know where we're going to end up so we're going to, kind of going to figure it out together. We're going on a little adventure. So let's get going. Right guys, that was not your average festival. When I, I know me in particular, when I hear the word festival, I think drinking, I think having a good time, I think good music, I think good friends, everything. Stuff, some of that was there, but not all of it. It was actually a festival over at Litchfield, as I, as I mentioned earlier in the video. They had all different types of stalls, they had like deck chairs out on a big screen watching Wimbledon. And actually it was nice not to worry about necessarily talking to the camera, just get some little clips, do some sort of little 30 second highlights clip like you guys just saw. So actually, I've actually just trained and it's now the following day of the following day of the following day. I get so far ahead and so far behind all at the same time, I never know. But anyway, it's a couple of days later, um, I've just finished off a push session. And the thing I wanted to talk to you about in this video, guys, was my brand new split. It's not necessarily brand new or groundbreaking or gonna give me these massive gains or anything like that. It's just something a little bit different, just for me to mix it up now between Ibiza, right? So the plan is to kind of shock the muscles, impact them with lots of high volume training in between now and September 1st. Because as you guys know, it's around about 50 days away from the time of filming this. 50 days from now, let's say, I go to Ibiza. So absolutely buzzing about that, guys. And what I'm gonna do, instead of my upper, lower, upper, lower, upper split, my five day a week, I'm going to be changing to a six day split. It's that simple guys. So what I'm going to be doing is doing a push pull legs routine. Many of you guys do it, many of you guys have heard of it. If you haven't, you literally train your muscles that you push, then you train your muscles that you pull, and then you train your legs, and then you repeat, right? But one has a chest emphasis, one has a shoulder emphasis, and then obviously the pull is just your back and everything like that. I've been trying it out this week, and I'm really, really looking forward to just tailoring my body slightly to a slightly higher volume training. And hopefully, I'll get a little bit of newbie gains from it as well. Just, just a little bit, because I've been training for over a year now, and so I kind of, kind of past that newbie gain stage and just have to shock the muscles a little bit more, keep things interesting, not only for my body but for myself as well, because that way it just helped me a little bit more mentally. But one thing I will mention is that in September, after Ibiza, I will go back to a five day split, my upper, lower, upper, lower, upper. That is because that is ideal for me. Uh, committing five days a week to the gym, training the body three times, lower body twice, it's just ideal for me. And to be honest with you, Training, to be, to be brutally honest with you guys, <laughs> training six days a week at university for myself, for, for me personally, is just not realistic. And <laughs> I, like, I, I try to be as, as honest as possible but without making it sound bad. Without making it sound bad guys, I, I'm, I'm a student, right? I'm gonna be going into third year, which is gonna be my final year at university. I wanna make the most of that. And training six days a week will kind of hinder that because it would mean that I wouldn't be able to have the social life that I do now. And that's what I always talk about on my Instagram and on my Insta stories and on my Facebook page and everything like that. I always talk about balance. Finding that balance, finding what's best for you. And at home, I know, like I have this home gym, this is my space, I know there's not gonna be anyone there. I can train 24 hours a day if I really want to. I can train at midnight, I can train at 5 a.m., I can train at two in the afternoon. Right, I've probably done all of the above at some stage. But when I'm at university, I just, I enjoy going out, I enjoy having fun with my friends and being able to document that as well. But being able to document that, going to lectures, doing my assessments, doing YouTube, doing Instagram, everything like that, it's just a little bit too much and six days a week is not enough. And let's say go out twice a week as a student, right? That's around about, I'd say that's average. From, from my friendship group and the people that I know, going out twice a week is around about average. So let's say five days a week and you allow two rest days, but you schedule your training around that. That's the way that I manage to stick to the gym, have a good social life and do YouTube all at the same time. If I trained five times a week, went out a couple of times a week and then did all my assessments and everything like that in the background, then that was perfect for me. So training six times a week at uni, just it's, it's just not gonna happen. When I finish uni, absolutely, yeah. I love, I would train every day if I could, but at the end of the day, guys, you've got to allow your body to recover. And so that's not possible. It's not advisable anyway. But 
So I'll, I'm sure at some point I will go back to six, uh, six days a week, but for now, for the next few weeks, I'll stick with it, and then I'll go back to my five days. So I guess what I'm just trying to say is, I, get, I don't know, okay, okay, right, I thought of a way to say this, right. So in terms of the amount of spare time I have at uni, that's not necessarily a problem, right? You do have a lot of spare time, you're only in a, a uni for a certain amount of hours a week, right? And you know your timetable, you can time manage in and around that. But in terms of actually having the spare time, that's not necessarily a problem for me. In terms of being able to get this done and being able to do my uni work and being able to just have a social life and everything all at the same time, that's not necessarily a problem. After two years of uni, I've kind of mastered that, I've kind of cracked it. So the time management and spare time is not necessarily an issue for me, but the issue is how much time you're willing to commit. So they're the two things you have to balance out. How much time, how much time you actually have to commit and how much of that time you are willing to commit. So in spare time for me, in terms of when I'm at university, is up here, right? But the amount of time I'm willing to commit to the gym is sort of here. So it would be here if I could train seven days a week, but it's not, it's a little bit further down because I want that social life. I need to be able to get my uni work done. I need to do my distance learning course, everything like that. So, I mean, as long as you know in your own head don't don't stress about it guys. I do keep getting messages about it. That's why I keep that's why I want to talk about it in today's video. Like, oh how many days a week should I train? What's optimal for me? What's optimal for this? How many blah blah blah? And like a surprising amount of questions for the amount of people on the channel, right? But so I just wanted to address this in the video and basically just let you know my perspective. I have a lot of free time, but normally at university would only train five days a week. Because that allows me to be mentally sound, physically sound, I'd just be I just I'd just be happy because I can go to the gym and make games, I can have a social life and I can still get my work done and get decent grades and everything like that. It's just, it's just optimal for me. What you guys have to do is find what's optimal for you and unfortunately that does take a little bit of time and it depends on how much you love it but at the end of the day if you don't love it then you're going to struggle to stick to it anyway. So again just lots of different things that you have to balance out in your own mind. Again we have to think about it from different perspectives because when we contrast everything that I've just said to me being at home, it's completely different. I have this home gym, I have this, like, this space is mine. I can come at midnight, I can come at two in the afternoon, I can come at five in the morning if I really want to, and I'll probably come at all of the above, guys, let's be honest with you. But again, there's just lots of different things that you have to vary and just think about in your own head and get straight with in your own mind. So I hope this little chat actually helps you guys out. If it did, then let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. And one thing, one just last quick thing before you go, guys, I have, a 1500 subscriber, a 50, ugh, not one day. I have a 1500 follower and 500 subscriber giveaway coming up from Lean Active, guys, right? Check out a couple of videos ago, I did an unboxing from them. Their company, they're the company that I'm working with. They are the company that have shown their faith in me and they're sending me some products for you guys. So I don't know what it is, I have no idea, but we'll, sure, we'll be sure to find out very, very soon. So I'll, I'll do the details as soon as I reach 1,500 followers, which hopefully will be within the next couple of weeks, guys. So that is gonna round off today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it through this rant, then please leave it a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, remember, no regrets. And I'll see you guys in the next video.